Yo, what is good, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Just a quick upload for you guys today. As last night, Fear of God had its first runway show ever, Fear of God at the Hollywood Bowl. Yes, after eight collections, this was Jerry's first official runway show ever. One, it looks like it was an absolute success. Last night's festivities did feature Fear of God Mainline's latest collection and offering in the form of Fear of God 8th Collection. And in addition to that, we were able to see the highly, highly anticipated Fear of God Adidas. It looked like everybody did show out for the event from Fear of God enthusiasts all the way to celebrities, even Ye pulled up, which I thought was really heartwarming, honestly, because bear in mind, uh, Kanye and Adidas aren't exactly on the best terms, but that wasn't gonna keep Ye from supporting his friends. Time and time again, we've seen Ye pull through for his friends to support them, and I think that's a really great thing. There was also a few live performances, including one from Pusha T, which did feature Fear of God, Essentials, and Jerry. Then I flooded I thought that was pretty sick. Anyways, I did want to share with you guys my initial thoughts on 8th Collection, as this is kind of a running theme that we do here on the channel. We've gone over 7th, 6th, 5th, so on and so forth. And so what I love about Jerry's design language is that it's very minimalistic in nature. And even if it's a runway show, a lot of this stuff will be ready to wear. Everything from what it looked like is very, very Jerry. alley -ooping from 7th, this 8th collection doesn't stray, but rather builds upon the direction from 6th to 7th and now 8th by adding new garments, silhouettes, textures, colors, fabrics, and slightly adjusting proportions, making things a bit baggier. And in my humble opinion, I think it all looks great. Would it look great on me? Not so much, but this is definitely something I can just respect and kind of appreciate on somebody else. I just don't have the stature or the frame to wear some of this stuff. I feel like in eighth, Jerry's moving in the direction of very oversized chic. I kind of get 80s suiting vibes. You got fur and things of that nature in there. And as with all Fear of God mainline garments, I don't doubt that the quality of the fabric, in addition to just the craftsmanship, it being crafted in LA, the quality is just going to be insane. Now, I don't know if any of it is for me particularly at the moment, so I don't know what I'm gonna purchase just yet, but just because it may not be for me, not saying that it's not, doesn't mean I can't appreciate everything that went down last night. And now transitioning over to the Adidas side of things, I'm not really gonna be focusing on the apparel, but more so on these sneakers. You guys saw, I believe it was earlier last month, we got these random leaks of samples now, I do believe those were from the house of Fear of God and Adidas, but I think they were rejected samples. These ones here, in my opinion, are much, much better, which somebody commented in the Facebook group that isn't saying much. Based on my assessment of the comments, both on Instagram as well as in the Locust of Wild Honey Facebook group, it seems like support for this shoe is pretty divided, uh, maybe with 15% of people liking them, 5% of people being kind of indifferent, and 80% of the comments being pretty negative. And to those people, I would say, the shoe is very Adidas basketball and Fear of God. Very similar to uh, the Nike Fear of God ones. You see a very futuristic design here. Of course, the Adidas rendition is going to be kind of like a mid-top version. But with regard to the fabrics and just the look of the shoe overall and the design language, I don't know if we would be right to expect anything different. Anyways, kind of breaking down the shoe from what it looks like based on the pictures, I think we're gonna get a full length zoom midsole, a stretchy prime knit toe box, which is fused together with a mesh breathable material, and that will constitute the upper. One thing that I am questioning is that there is no fused material 
at the toe cap of the shoe, similar to what we have here on the Fear of God ones. And that enables you to be locked in and not tear the fabric. I'm curious to see what stability and lockdown will be like on the Adidas version. That of which I will test on the basketball court myself when I inevitably get these shoes in hand. But yeah, overall, my initial impressions and thoughts on the shoes, I'm not exactly stoked on the sneaker, but not necessarily because I don't like them, because this is exactly what I expected from the team over at Adidas Basketball and Fear of God. But my lack of enthusiasm around this sneaker is more so based on the fact that I don't see them doing anything different than what the Fear of God ones already do, and I very, very seldom wear my Fear of God ones lately. Nonetheless, I will be acquiring them and featuring them here on the channel. Also, before I move on to the final topic of today's video, I did want you to know that if you go ahead and go to the Adidas Confirmed app right now, you can go ahead and get the latest updates with regard to Adidas Fear of God. So go ahead and check that out. And moving on to the last topic of today's video, last night there was a shock drop of a bunch of merchandise from the event to kind of commemorate everything that went down, which was only available to a select group of people. So even if you had the link you wouldn't be able to check out hence why i didn't ultimately share the link you guys know i'll always plug you guys if i have the opportunity to do so anyways as i mentioned there were a few garments that did drop first being a very oversized silhouette of a shirt which did come in a few different designs also you did get some hoodies as well as some matching sweatpants they look like they had like a pigment wash to them and it looked to be very heavy again very very oversized from the hoodie all the way to the pants both were were just huge based on the measurements that i did see online now in addition to those garments what kind of sneakily crept in there is two new versions of pieces that i'm sure a lot of you guys already own the first one being the fear of god new era hat the one with the f the old english f that was offered last night in three new colorways in a corduroy version which looked pretty good in my humble opinion also available on the site is a newly renovated version of the fear of god california now i do apologize uh, that these are so beat i just wear these a lot but last night we saw the fear of god california 2.0 which does have a few different variations from the og pair in the form of taking a new shape which is a bit more angular and contrasting color branding outsole and insole apart from those changes i don't see anything different but what i will say is that they bumped up the price by 100 bucks as a retail at 295 instead of 195. Now this could be a product of inflation or maybe there is going to be more differences that I didn't quite catch. But yeah, we're getting a California 2.0 perfect timing for the warmer months. All right, guys, and that wraps up today's video. I want to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts on 8th Collection? What are your thoughts on the new Fear of God Californias, the new hat, the new sneakers that are dropping? I know that it's a bit of a polarizing topic at the moment. I'm definitely curious what the community has to say down below as i know a lot of you guys are fear of god enthusiasts and ultimately how you found my channel anyways as always it is a major privilege of mine to get to serve you through making content thank you so much for stopping by the channel i'll catch you in the next upload peace and be blessed